All right, can I have a motion to open the work session? I move to open the work session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> All right, so again, welcome to our work session of Tuesday, October 24th, uh, 2023. We are going to jump right into a uh, discussion of um, resolutions um, with regard to the NG0 special permit. Uh, so, Eric and Sabrina, would you like to walk us through um, the few minor changes to the resolutions? Up to you, Eric. Um, yeah, I can I can take you through the NAG deck and the uh, the resolutions thing. Thank you. Um, so, you have the final form of NAG deck and two resolutions um, that are being considered tonight. The final form of NAG deck. Um, so, the first changes. Uh, the first change in the NAG deck is. On page five of the NEG deck, we eliminated the reference to the phase one environmental site assessment. And I'll give you a little bit more information to that once we go through the final changes on the document. Um, the next change on page nine, we just added Westchester County Planning Board in two places. And there was a change in the date uh, of the letter from the Westchester County Planning Board pursuant to GML section 239, that date was October 16th. So that's in the final form of the resolution. We also added on page uh, on page 10, well, that's actually 10 of the final form. There's the letter from, there were two letters from Creighton Manning, one dated um, October 20th and one dated October 23rd that addressed some of the traffic and parking issues. They respond to some of the AKRF um, and um, submissions from the public regarding parking and go through the uh, response regarding the overnight parking requirements to those letters. So those are part of the record that's been reviewed by the town board. Um, the next change was with respect to land, um, the, the land reference, um, and I believe it's page 12 and 13 of the final form, the, again, the reference to the phase one environmental site assessment prepared by the applicant was deleted from the document in that section. Um, the next, and just to confirm that's right. because since we're going to require phase two, the phase right. one really is not necessary. Right. I, I, I was going to give a review of that oh. once I finish going through okay. it because it's in another place too, and I would, it can answer any questions that the board has. Um, the next change is in um, on page 14 of the final form. It's uh, the storm under stormwater, wastewater, and drinking water. Under the paragraph beginning currently drainage flows, there's been a, a sentence added saying. Um, since these improvements have been made, the property in the town's drainage system, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, it's, uh, I'm it's looking at the wrong one. In the, I'm just looking for where it is on this last in the final one. Okay. Just looking at this. Oh. Hold on one second. You're going I, I can I'm take just, it I'm making, So yeah, it starts out in addition, right? The Metro North it, Railroad drainage. It's surround, page 14 of 42. Right. They're yeah. surrounding their, in addition, the Metro North Railroad address drainage surrounding their train tracks. Since these improvements have been made, the property or the town's drainage system in proximity of the property have not exhibited flood. So that's been added to the document. Um, there are some minor changes to page 21 of the document. There was a closing of a um, quotation mark um, in one of the paragraphs. It's, a, it's, on, it's on actually page 20 of the final document. There was a closing of the quotation mark in orientation. Um, and going on in page... 34 of 42. Yep. There was a, a missing letter. Um, of yeah, there was just a missing R in the paragraph beginning the NJ special permit requires. So that was just a minor typographical error. Um, number 15 on page 30, sorry, 37 of the final error. I'm just seeing my pages this year. Page 36 of the final document, socioeconomics was spelled, socioeconomics was spelled incorrectly. So that change was made in the final document. And then the final um, changes in, par in section 18 dealing with human health, which is on pages 39 and 40 of the final document. Again, there was a deletion of the reference to the phase one environmental assessment. And then there was a um, revision um, that talked about um, after the first paragraph under human health, it said, based on the environmental assessment form and associated information, there has been no evidence 
of soil contamination on the site. If and when an application is filed for the development of property under the special permit, the applicant will be required to satisfy minimum requirements for identifying the potential for contaminated soil and groundwater on the project site. This includes undertaking a phase two analysis, including additional testing to evaluate the presence or absence of petroleum products or hazardous substances in the site subsurface be conducted to ensure that historic uses have not adversely impact, impacted the subsurface conditions at the project site. A phase two analysis will be conducted as part of the future special permit application process. This additional testing is routinely conducted as a project is further developed in regards to geotechnical investigation and borings. Um, so that, that change was also, those are the, the changes to the NAIC deck that were made. And just to clarify, um, it was determined after an analyzing um, the materials and um, assessing the documents that a, a, this board would not be, would, was unnecessary to um, consider and rely upon the phase one because the board is in fact requiring a phase two analysis as part of the phase, as part of the special permit application, assuming one is filed that will require soil borings and a much more in-depth environmental review of the property. Since this um, proposed action that's being reviewed is the legislation itself, which just allows an additional type of development on the site. There's already as of right development allowed on the site that could result in, that may result in environmental, you know, in uh, phase two being done or, or a review of environmental, underground environmental conditions being done. Um, it was not necessary in order to, for this board to rely on the phase one in order to um, provide its analysis that there is no, envi you know, no environmental impact from this legislation, especially since there's a phase two that is going to be required as part of any special permit before any development can take place. So that's why the change was made with respect to the phase one and it was not necessary to rely on the phase one at this point. Uh, um, you also have the resolutions in front of you, which I think delete just the, uh, they, they add the additional documentation that's being considered and they delete the reference to the phase one again. But that, I think that was really the only change since last week on the um, resolutions so, itself. So the public understands, is it fair to say a phase two is, is more enhanced and more in depth than the phase one? Oh, it's way, it's much more, it's much more intrusive. It requires actual, um, testing of the soils and borings of the soil, whereas phase one does not require intrusive testing of any soils and, uh, or, or the property itself. And theoretically, if, if it stayed as is, and someone built up on what was already existing, they would, wouldn't have to do that. Not if they're not doing any intrusion into the ground. They would be potentially, if they didn't, you know, it would be an as of right development that may not even require a secret review if they're not changing anything in the building. If they're just putting in a new use in the building, it might not even require a secret review. It might be considered a type two at that point. You wouldn't have any super review of it. Right. So no matter what we get built on that site. Right. Two stories, three stories, four, we would be in the same place. Right. As long as, as long as it was subject to either, as long as it was either an unlisted, and I apologize for interrupting. Go ahead. No, no, that's it. Yeah. As long as it was subject to the, the environmental review, a phase two, you know, could be, would be required for doing uh, development or may be required for doing development. I don't, I can't speculate as to all the levels of development, but if it's being developed with a special permit under this legislation, it's gonna require a phase two. So. And depending on the results of a phase two analysis, the if, if any sort of contamination was was revealed, the developer is bound under New York State law to remediate, is that correct? They would be, they would be required to remediate. That, I mean, they'd be by law now, you know, whether, you know, they, they would be required to remediate, put it that way. There are, you know, there would have to be a legal process that they would go through if they don't want to, um, but they would be required to remediate it, so. And the DEC oversees Right, that. the DEC would oversee that and require the owner or any prior owners to actually be responsible for remediating as well, so. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? I don't know, Sabrina, if you wanted to add anything with respect to the requirements on the cleanup uh, of the site. So. No, I think you covered it very well. Thank you, Eric. All right, so I think we can move to the next topic. Okay. The next topic on our agenda. Um, Do you want me to wait for the, for the regular meeting or are you okay with? Oh, I don't care. Any questions? All right, I can, I'll, I'll wait around for the... Okay, okay. oh, oh, yeah, we know, we'd like you to stay for okay. the regular meeting. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah.
Okay. Yes, definitely. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Um, the next thing on the agenda is the review of the catalyst contract. Um, so this is, uh, we mentioned it last week, um, this is the successor agreement to pass. So this is the foundational document, uh, foundational contract that runs our, soft, our assessment software that then feeds into um, our tax, tax programs. Um, they've been working on this program, um, on getting an update to uh, the software for seven, since 2017. Um, it is $22,000 for annual support and hosting and $13,000 for uh, conversion of 10 years of historical data. Um, and it's been paid to go through the capital project. When it comes to expenditures um, over ten thousand dollars, we bring them to the board so that they're aware of our the, the budget and where the money that's being spent and how it is that we're planning on paying for it. Thank you. It seems like it's an investment. Yeah. yeah. The next thing the property uh, maintenance notes we're actually not ready for. We're going to table that and it'll be uh, on the agenda. Um, the next is the Nickel Dam Dam Agency notice. The, uh, not really here. Um, so, uh, as the board is aware, we have been um, in the midst of decommissioning the legal dam. We are finally getting closer to actually doing the work. Um, this will require a secret review and it will secret um, process and it will require the dam board to be um, the lead agency for this process. And it's just a review for the board. Um, we will be um, decommissioning the dam. That means draining the water out of it. We will need to test the sediment to see whether or not it can stay on the property or it has to be removed. And then it is the plan to take and replant the area and basically restore it to its own Okay. Um, the next is a series of uh, administrative items. So, uh, payment of claims. Uh, adoption of minutes from September 2023, adoption of monthly reports from September 2023. And let me hand out to you um, the resolution authorizing the town of Newcastle to um, establish LOSAP, which is the length of service program. And this is for CMAC. Um, so uh, we we have spoken of this before. This is the actual resolution that needs to be approved by the board this evening. Um, it uh, requires, even after this resolution is approved, um, the state law requires a mandatory referendum. So it means that we will be holding a special election. It's supposed to be on Wednesday, December 6th. It will be here at Town Hall. We'll have a single polling place from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Christina will be running the election. Um, <laughs> yay, I will be helping, I promise. Um, we have, you know, ordered machines, we've ordered books, we've ordered, um, we're, we're moving election inspectors. Um, um, let's see, uh, the monthly service award payment that we are proposing is equal to uh, $20 a month for each year of service award program, which would be $240 per year. Um, uh, per year of service. Um, you know, what else should I mention? Yeah, just, it just as, as part of this, the next step will be once, assuming you adopt this, the next step will be to have the actual proposition that will be part of the ballot for December 6th. So that will happen at your next meeting. So we'll work with Penflex for that language, but it, it's sometimes very specific. Language. Very specific, and oftentimes you see it in the same resolution, but it's not necessary, but that's the next step. Because I guess they're still working on the numbers and the figures. So I understand that will come either tomorrow or this week. I understand. We'll take that and craft it into a resolution with the proposition on it at your next meeting. And we'll still be in time for the December 6th meeting. So that will be um, on uh, Wednesday the 8th. Correct. Um, okay, so the special elections to be on December 6th. Yes, it's a Wednesday. Um, time. <clears throat> It goes 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Okay. Sorry. And this is not subject to secret. It's type 2, so just be well aware of it. Nothing more to be done on that front. Great. Um, the next is authorization to use town property. Will you read this? Um, Looking to set up tables outside the Chapapa um, Farmers Market for a charity event. 
uh, uh, enhancer can use it. Um, next is approval of a Halloween block party on Hadapash. Um, authorization to obtain bids for a recreation uh, field infield project. They're hoping to renovate the infield of the park field and have it looking pristine for next year. Um, DPW is actually asking uh, the board for a noise waiver. We're doing the Millwood Water Treatment Plant project and we're we starting to look at the whole year. Um, so allowing us to start at 7 in the morning. So we can try to get the project done. For how long? Two days. Mm -hmm. oh, Monday and Friday yeah, I mean, and yeah. Saturday if necessary. Other than the, the club there, can there aren't too many homes around there, right? So well, Chestnut Oaks is right across the street, so they, they um, the thing is is that DPW is up and working. Oh I'm sorry, this is no working. Um, yeah. yeah, no. Where are these little, little voices coming right. from? So um, there, was some kind of there was soccer outside, so maybe they're going to oh. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there are any homes really around the middle of the water. I think just the uh, Cabin Ridge may be the closest street, so that's such a bad Yeah, that's okay. No. And you've got the state DOT yard um, and the DOT regular yard that yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, so I'll show something that those operations start at 7 in the morning, so. And the Taconic is pretty busy by now as well. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have to do. Um, next is authorization to approve the annual service and support contract, which is uh, DNR, a really unfortunate happening, but it's our contract. Um, it's a terrific vendor who takes it and makes sure that the uh, lighting, that the sound system and uh, uh, movie screen things like that are operational at the Java Performing Arts Center. Um, next is authorization to use town property for an Eagle Scout project. They'd like to do um, a book collection. So it's going to be a big thing at South Saint in, um, in the lobby. Um, that project. Uh, we'd like to extend um, our contract bid for the sidewalk snow removal for the Chappaqua Hamlet uh, Parking District. It is with Griffin and Landscapers. Um, we've been really happy with that for the last few years and have the option to renew for another year. Um, let's see. Next is authorization to accept the proposal um, for um, supplemental services for the chat line. Uh, this is our, for our consultant, Barton and the Judas, uh, Lee Jones, who's actually is going to be speaking with the Board of Ed later this evening um, on our behalf and explaining the project to them. So for, uh, for her time to be able to take and do that, uh, we just need another agreement with them. See. Um, authorization to accept the, the annual contract for impact records management system. Um, this is the, the records management system for police, and it's just our annual contract again over on the pricey side. So we bring it to the board. Um, uh, it's a forty thousand um, dollar annual, uh, you know. But we've got it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, next is authorization to use uh, town vehicles for ski trips. This is an authorization that usually comes from through me, but um, whenever we have a, a vehicle that goes out of town, they need, they need specific authorization. So certainly they have it. This is so that there can be a separate car that drives around uh, with the buses. Uh, authorization to approve our partners and safety agreement. This is uh, drug and alcohol testing and also uh, free um, employment discounts for our staff. Next is banner request for community day. Eric is very efficient. Wow. That's a problem. It's unbelievable. Um, he called me the day after to find out if we had a new date. <laughs> Right? Okay. September 14th, right? Yeah. All right, because it's going up the week of the 7th, so there you go. Um, um, next is authorization to approve the 2023 Shared Services INA. Um, we have a, a grant that we apply for with 18 other, it's a total of 18 municipalities in Westchester County um, for the grant for this recycling app that's on our, on our phone. We can find out you know, whether or not uh, who take, accepts uh, a particular item for recycling if it's not a recycling center, then the chemical recycling center. And um, the, the conventional wisdom is, is that it really helps with uh, to increase recycling when people know where to bring their stuff. 
Uh, next is authorization to uh, use town property. That's the garden club. They'd like to use Amsterdam to uh, take and do their um, youth preparation. It's going to be November 26th through the 28th. Um, um, yeah. And where are they doing that? On the second floor. Um, there's an empty in the building, but they, they will be dry and uh, protected from the elements. So they know that they, they will dress one. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I already got approval from uh, from Tom to call it that he was okay with the keeping it no more than 12 people, and we'll, we'll make sure that we put a stop to that. Um, authorization to approve no to prevent contract. So these are pass through expenditures from Newcastle United for Youth. Um, they're required to uh, have it approved by the board after their board approves expenditures. But we don't actually. The money does not come from the town. They have a separate hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Just kind of the administrator. Uh, next is uh, authorization to obtain uh, approve a change order for Gandy Park. This is unusual because it's an underrun, so the contract is actually less. Oh, wow. Up on that happens. <laughs> Nothing that happens. <laughs> I didn't, but, but it is a rare occurrence. It's called an underrun, just in case anybody next takes up somebody else's okay. door <laughs> at a cocktail party. It's not an overrun, it's an underrun. Uh, next is authorization to support uh, WEMS in the purchase of uh, the purchase of well, yeah, purchase of the additional mm -hmm. fly car as of June of 24. We spoke about this last ah, night, um, right. and the board agreed that it was an important um, expenditure, and we were able to, Rob was terrific and was able to find money in the budget for it. So uh, as of June 2024, um, we will have another fly car, which will reduce response times of our um, of our ambulances, which is great. And and for Rob, you know, it's actually a car well. that does fly. <laughs> um, the other municipalities it, also approved this for the six months. Yes, right. Yes. Uh, when is the consortium? Tomorrow. Yeah, when is it? Tomorrow. tomorrow. The meeting is tomorrow morning. Okay. So, just so that we can tell them that we have formally approved the resolution. Mm -hmm. um, ah, and the last thing is an informational memo regarding recent repairs to a city vehicle. So, just so the board is aware, um, we are very serious about our procurement policy. And when we have um, expenditures that are over, X amount of dollars, depending on what it is, we go out and we get multiple bids. This happened to be a situation where we brought a truck to be fixed. Um, it was under the threshold. When they got it up on the list and they started looking at it, we re they realized that whatever needed to be fixed, was, there was a whole lot more wrong with it. So instead of taking and bringing the truck, at that point, the truck couldn't be brought back. We approved the, the additional expenditure to just be able to fix the truck and have it be operational. Um, it ended up being you know, over $10,000, which is something that we would normally never approve without multiple bids, but this was a, in our situation, so we approved it. But I did want to bring it to the board's attention. Jill, is that meant to be in the consent agenda? Um, or is that a separate resolution? No, I don't know if it was a question. I don't, I just don't see it. Yeah. Um, you know what, when it's a money expenditure... Oh, we weren't going to approve that, remember? Oh, it's it not an approval, it's just information. Just information. Okay, right. thank yeah. you. Yeah, thanks, sir. Um, and that is all I have for administrative items and all the other questions. Is there any questions from anyone? No. no. Okay, clear. All right. All right. Second. Second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. All right, thank you everyone. We're going to move to the town board meeting. Thank you. Okay, welcome everybody to the town board meeting of Tuesday, October 24th. Um, can I please have a motion to open the meeting? Motion to open the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, all right, we are going to actually start the meeting um, instead of announcements. We are going to um, start it with something very exciting. Um, at this time, I want to welcome uh, to the meeting tonight the members of the Polly Cooper chapter of the National Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, the chapter was established on uh, May 5th, 2017 in Chappaqua. And the Daughters of the American Re Revolution is a nonprofit, nonpolitical volunteer service organization comprising 3,000 chapters worldwide, 
founded with the purpose of preserving the memory and spirit of those who contributed to securing American independence. Uh, the Polly Cooper chapter accomplishes this by supporting initiatives in patriotism, education, <coughs> literacy, historic preservation, conservation, and genealogy research. So members of the chapter are here tonight uh, to present a community service award to our very own Marion Williams for her contributions to the town of Newcastle community. So I want to say congratulations and, and welcome everyone up. You okay. first. And, um, <laughs> yes, of course. I'm, the, I'm Kim McRae. I'm the Historic Preservation Chairperson of the Polly Cooper the chapter. Um, and hopefully I'm close enough to the microphone. Uh, on behalf of, be no, of We can take, take it out. out. Okay. Oh, and then we'll, mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. On behalf of the National Society, Daughters of the American Revolution, and members of the Polly Cooper chapter, of Chappaqua, New York, we are excited to present a community service award to Marion Williams. Marion's dedicated volunteer service to her community in the town of Newcastle is evidenced by her service in many ways. Specifically, her volunteering with the Take It or Leave It Shed, where Marion assisted in the organization's setup, receiving, organizing donations, helping, quote, shoppers, and cleaning up from the day's activities. She volunteers for more than 125 hours each year. Additionally, Marion volunteers with the Newcastle Historical <coughs> Society in many capacities. For example, working with local school children to coordinate tours, in the research room facilitating research of family history, maps, etc., that assist the public in their historical research. Marion volunteers with many other organizations in the town of Newcastle. Thank you, Marion, for your dedication to the community members. You are well deserving of this recognition. A donation in your name has been sent to the Newcastle Historical Society designated to support the research room. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thing to say that is this is an honor and I okay, mm -hmm. this is an honor and I thank you. And what's important to me is that I get to work with Kari. Kari Weiss, who is a smart, kind, fun, and superbly organized trustee of the Historical Society, especially on our project in the Greeley House, reorganizing the research room to make it more attractive and make the contents more accessible. The DAR does such good work researching and supporting history and genealogy. The DAR has an extra unrelated meaning in our family, since we have a daughter named Dar, <laughs> who was quite startled when she first saw a brochure about the organization <laughs> as a small child. Thank you, Kari, RJ, um, and I shall continue working to live up to this honor through the Newcastle Historical Society and Tioli. Thank you. Thank you. Come take a picture with you too. Thank you, Lisa. We're mm -hmm. going to come down and take a picture with all of you. And Marion, I just want to say that you are a gem of our community, and we are so lucky to have you. Thank you. We're going to squeeze behind you. Hold on. That is so for a Thank you, Susie. You're a very special right. Sponge guest. Sponge please. <laughs> I want this. All right, everyone, let's <laughs> smile. One, two, three. Can I like? All right, one, two, three. I can't do a couple over here. Hold on. And then I still have to do Lucy's. Okay, that's one camera. <laughs> <laughs> Second camera, hold on. Wait, your fingers in front of the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be and then one last one. one. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Right. Right. Thank you. 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 Thank
Okay. Oh, one, one more picture. picture. Line okay. it up, please. Yeah, one, do a couple over there. And then one last one, okay? One, two, three. Thank you. Thank, Great. thank you so thank much. You. Congratulations, Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Of course, we've had a lot of and she thought the scavenger hunt was fantastic. So whatever idea that was, was a big hit. I learned a lot about ours, really, in the last four days. Did you know he was only 61 when he died? Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you know that he had two children that died before the age of nine? Well, that's very congratulations. Do you want to take it personally that no one wants to stay? Nice. That was lovely. Don't she really is a gem for in the castle, and we're so lucky to have her. You're doing something right. Um, all right, so we are going to move. Are there any announcements? Okay, uh, supervisor's report. I just wanted to thank our recreation department for, you know, the um, ragamuffin parade and everything they're doing this time of year to make our, our kids happy. So thank you very much. Um, in terms of Community Corner, I just wanted to congratulate uh, Daniel Dolt for becoming an Eagle Scout, which is a huge honor and a lot of work. So congratulations. That was actually great. Um, and then Gray Williams, we're wishing you a happy birthday. He can't hear us anymore, but a happy birthday to Gray Williams, our town historian and wife of the on and husband of the honoree here tonight. And also a happy birthday to our very own Jeremy Saland. We are honored that you wanted to spend your birthday with us tonight, and we're going to keep you here as long choice. as possible to prolong we'll move to the adjourn. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So now, uh, anything from the town administrators' report? Okay. So we are going to then move right to public comment and new business. If anyone has any public comment or new business who's sitting here, please uh, come on up to the microphone. All right, is there anyone online? Okay, thank you. All right, so we um, are going to move right to a public hearing um, on a local law to amend chapter 123 regarding full stop and yield streets. Uh, can I please have a motion to open that public hearing? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, Lino, is, Lino, do you want to talk to us about this? I don't have a copy of the local laws, Madam Supervisor. I'm like back. Mm. Let me prepare this one. Okay. So. I saw him. Um, I know that the the chief. So we we received uh, numerous you know complaints about. Um, some various dangerous intersections, and our police chief and the police department came out and, and analyzed those intersections, and they did propose that we amend uh, the list of our streets that have full stop and yield signs on them to add a stop sign to Douglas Road, to add a stop sign to Ridge Road, to add two yield signs on Taylor Road, and to add a yield sign on Tripp Street. So we can open that up if anyone has any public comment on any of those additions. All right, no one here. Is there anyone online who has a public comment? Okay, thank you. So um, I would, given that I don't anticipate this being... Um, too contentious a change to our local law, I would recommend that we close the public hearing, leaving it open for written comments uh, until noon on the uh, Monday, the 30th. Can I have, can someone make that motion? So moved. Aye. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and now we are going to just move to uh, our resolutions. Holly, would you like to start us off? Yes. <clears throat> I move to adopt the items 1 through 20 as listed in the consent agenda. 
Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move. I'm sorry. I move to approve the payment of claims in the amount of one million six hundred and eighty-five thousand two hundred and thirty-seven dollars and eighty-six cents, listed on the summary pre-check writing report and detail voucher detail <coughs> report. Both dated October twentieth, twenty twenty-three. Checks will be issued and mailed to each claimant listed on Wednesday, October twenty-fifth, twenty twenty-three. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to appoint the following individuals as members of the Beautification Advisory Board for a three-year term, effective November 1st, 2023 through October 31st, 2026. Lori Morton, Lynn O'Connor, Helene Brick Cabot, Michael Lader, Dorothy Vendito, Don Roan, Fran Osborne. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And thank Many you thanks. all for your service. I move to authorize the hiring of Danny Aguirre and Jonathan Crispo Loja for the position of seasonal laborer within the Recreation and Parks Department at the hourly rate of $18 per hour, effective October 30th, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do you want to go? Sure. I move to authorize the promotion of Michael Belmonte to the position of heavy motor equipment operator within the Department of Pub Public Works Highway Unit at the annual sal salary of $87,885.44, effective October 30th, 2023. Aye, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to authorize the hiring of the following individuals for the position of recreation attendant within the Recreation and Parks Department to serve as ski trip chaperones at the corresponding rates as indicated below, effective January 5th, 2023. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to accept the resignation of Soprano Banerjee, Kimberly Carey, Porfirio Gonzowitz, Pat Pollock, Sean Smith, and Young Jun Yoon from the Committee on Race, Equity, and Inclusion, effective October 2023. I thank them for their service. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 No. <laughs> hmm? I said no. You're not accepting their resignation. <laughs> <No. laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Moving on. You may keep going. Uh, Vicki, do you want to do this one or do you want to do this? I can do Why this don't one. you do this and Vicki will okay. do that? Okay. I move to adopt the resolution uh, adopting negative declaration <laughs> for the NG0 special permit 2023 5. Um, Can you move right to the whereas? The oh, yeah, resolve clauses. As illustrated below. Now, therefore, it is hereby resolved that after due discussion and deliberation, the town board as lead agency has identified all relevant areas of environmental concern and potential impacts arising from the proposed action as considered in light of the concept plans. The completed environmental assessment form and all the <coughs> aforementioned documentation recommendations, professional guidance, and public comment. Having assessed those potential impacts under the criteria set forth in new, uh, 6 NYCRR section 617.7C, the town board hereby determines there are no significant adverse environmental impacts associated with the proposed action and proposed project. Therefore, preparation of an environmental impact statement is not required for the reasons stated in the attached negative declaration as appended hereto. And it is further resolved that this resolution and the attached negative declarations shall constitute the town board's valuation of the magnitude and importance of project impacts and reasons in support of the, term, the determination of significance required under Part 3 of the EAF. It is further resolved that, based on the foregoing findings, the proposed action will, will result in no significant adverse impacts on the environment, and therefore an environmental impact statement need not be prepared. Accordingly, this negative declaration is issued. It is further resolved that, in the event that a proposed application for an NG0 special permit is submitted that is material different materially different than as set forth in the concept plans or is determined to have environmental impacts that were not considered as part of the instant environmental review, that a further environmental review and a revised environmental determination will be required with respect to such application. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. 
Um, I move to adopt the resolution to adopt a local law creating NG0 special permit 2023-5. Uh, whereas application was made to the town board of the town of Newcastle um, to submit a zoning change petition as uh, presented in further detail in the resolutions, in the resolution packet. We'll go to... Yeah. Now, therefore, be it resolved that after due discussion and deliberation, the Town Board of Trustees of the Town of Newcastle hereby adopts local law. Um, the number is not there. Yeah. Local law um, of 2023 adding a new provision to Town Code Section 60-430.0 establishing a new special permit for mixed-use residential building that would significantly exceed current energy efficiency standards and serve as a model for sustainable development would be known as NG0 special permit as set forth in the form of local law submitted to the town board dated August 4, 2023. Be it further resolved that the town board finds that the local law adding the NG0 special permit will be beneficial to the welfare of the community by encouraging energy efficient and sustainable development of the property that would not otherwise be required under under the town zoning code requirements as well as promoting affordable and workforce housing measures that will also provide significant benefits to the community <coughs> be it further resolved that the town board finds that the concept plan presented by the applicant provides a model upon which it can rely as a basis for the proposed development of the property based on uh, design features as further stated in the resolutions packet. And be it further resolved that to the extent any architectural or design features included in the concept plan are not included in any application for an NG0 special permit at the property, that it is recognized that pursuant to town code section 60-430B, when reviewing any special permit application, the town board has discretion to require substantial compliance with such features or require architectural or design features that are determined to be in harmony with the appropriate and orderly development of the North Greeley Avenue District and that will not hinder or discourage the appropriate development and use of adjacent land and buildings. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you. We need, we need the language for the last one. one. Uh, we have it. It's separate. Yeah, it was handed out in the um, yeah. here, Jeremy. Can we also have yeah, just um, um, you show something in your email for the Minkle Dam, the wording for the, the lead Dam. agency resolution. Okay. Um, whereas proposal has been made to establish a service award program for active volunteer members of the Chappaqua Volunteer Ambulance Corps, also known as CDAC. Um, as reflected below, it's a little different. Huh. Throwing me a curveball on my birthday. Sorry. <laughs> um, should yeah. I just go to 10? Can you skip down to the. Yeah, I would just, what I would say for the motion is just really a motion to, to propose a volunteer ambulance service award program, and that motion would be to set a Mandatory referendum and vote on that LOSAP award program on Wednesday, December 6th, uh, 2023, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in this assembly room in Newcastle Town Hall, uh, 200 South Greeley Avenue, Chappaqua, New York, 10514, to determine whether such service award program shall be established effective January 1, 2024. And it's set, set forth in this resolution, and that will be the motion to adopt. Uh, so moved. A second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Just for the record, this is a type. This is a type two action, so no further, no environment is required. And we are incredibly grateful for all your yes. feedback. Incredibly yes. Grateful. Yes. Very much. <clears throat> and uh, the board should have an, an additional resolution with regard to Minkle Dam. Yes. I've got I'm it. just going to let Mark, Mark make. Hi guys. Statement. So my name is Mark Hirschfield. I'm the captain of Chappaqua Volunteer Ambulance Corps. And I want to thank everyone for passing this motion tonight. As you know, in New York State. EMS is not considered essential. But I know that in this town and with this board, we are essential. Right. And just yes, to give you, you some examples, just today we put on six calls. Five of them came between 4.30 this morning and 10.35 this morning. 
Those calls included two falls, one patient who had COVID, one person had difficulty breathing, one patient with chest pain, and one person who was unresponsive. We had another call this afternoon for a person having heart palpitations. Last week, we had a number of calls. Three of them involved, <coughs> two of them involved, rather, people needing CPR, and one involved a person having a stroke in our ambulance. So clearly, what we do is important, and I know you recognize that. And having a low staff program will help us in a number of ways. One, it will help us recruit members, it will help us retain members, and most importantly, it will help us to motivate members. Hopefully, people will work harder to, to earn their low SAP, and we think this will be a great addition to our, uh, our, our community, and we thank you very much for this. I should also add that I would have been have more people here from CVAC tonight. My members are actually doing training tonight on how to uh, deal with opioid uh, victims. So they're not here because they're training, but we all appreciate your efforts very much. Mm -hmm. And certainly I want to thank Jill and Rob very much for all your efforts in getting this to this, this day. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank We're happy you. to be Thanks, Warren. Um, all right, we have one go? more resolution. Yeah. Do you have that? Yeah. Uh, I move to adopt the following <coughs> resolution. Whereas Town of Newcastle is proposing to decommission the Upper Minkle Dam, aka Croton Road Dam and Dyke, uh, by lowering the water level, removing stonework for passage of water, constructing a weir, establishing a channel, retaining sediments on site, and promoting growth of native vegetation within the impoundment area. Whereas the town of Newcastle is owner of the dam should declare lead agency status, commencing a coordinated review for this unlisted action in accordance with the State Environmental Quality Review Act. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Newcastle is declared lead agency for the purposes of environmental review with respect to the Upper Minkle Dam decommissioning project. And be it further resolved that the town clerk is hereby directed to distribute letter of intent to involved and interested agents. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, anything else? Can I entertain a motion to adjourn? Second. Aye. So moved. Well, there was no motion. Right. Oh, sorry. Just I, so, moved. I so moved it. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.